Hi, um, hello everyone. So I'm making an updated version on the sprint script. So there'll be like smooth FOV changes and everything like that. I uh, so this will probably be much better than the normal the first sprint script video I did. So this will be a lot smoother for your game. So first, you want to create a script, install character scripts, a local script, and you can name anything you want. So first, we need to create a variable. For play the player, we're getting the player. Then we're gonna get the character. Then we're gonna get the humanoid. So we've got the player, we've got the character, which is basically your avatar. And then we're gonna get the user input service. So this is the left shift they're gonna hold to sprint. Then we're gonna get the tween service. What we got. And now we need to get the camera. Then first, now we need to create the tweening. So we want the FOV to change smoothly, like increasing and then decreasing. So first, we're gonna create a variable for local FOV change. So this is when they press shift the first time. The FOV is gonna increase. So we can do. Um, we can create a variable for our FOV, so we can do this one. Then it'll increase FOV. And then we create a decrease one. We'll go back to seventy. The seventy is the default Roblox one. Now we're gonna get the um. Then we're gonna create the information, so we can do increase FOV to the info dot new. So. First of all, you're gonna type in how long you want it to last. So I'll do point zero point five seconds, and then you could choose uh, your easing style. So you can go on YouTube and type in different easing styles for Roblox Studio, and you can choose you which one you want. But sign probably the smoothest one for this, or linear. And then you could do the same for easing direction. This is type in easing directions or uh, Roblox Studio on YouTube or something like that. But the best is in out. And then we're gonna do how long you want it to last, so like how long you want it to repeat. So I'm gonna do zero times because I want it to just smoothly increase and decrease. I don't want to do like multiple times. And then we're gonna do false with this. It's just for, just to basically when we're doing a shift and if a player just lets go of the shift while the FOV is still increasing, it'll just go back to seventy like default. So we can just copy this, create another line. So then we increase the FOV, we can emit decrease FOV. Like that. Now we can get the user input service, we can do UIEs, which is the user input service we stored. Uh dot input began, connect a function, input if input dot key code equals enum dot key code left shift, then humanoid dot work speed equals to oh well, that's to thirty-five. And now that's just increased their walk speed. Now we can create a variable called tween, and then we can do ts create. So basically, we're creating a tween. ts stored, uh, tw uh, stores our tween service uh, variable. And then we can type in camera, which is the variable we made before. And then we can also create a increase FOV, because we want it to increase. And then we can create the property table, and inside the camera, there's a property called field of view. So basically, FOV, we can do that to FOV increase, not decrease, increase, like that. And then we can play the green. Then now we can just copy this line of code here, paste it in, and do input ended instead of input began, change it back to the normal default. The walk speed and then do FOV decrease and then it'll play the tween. So, yeah, this is the full code if you want to get like quickly write it down. And now we can uh, test it. Let me just quickly see if this open the output in case of any errors. You press uh, shift, you see our FO increase, FOV increases, and when we let go, it'll go back like that. But if we let go of shift while well, the FOV is increasing, it'll just go back normal. That's why you put it to false. So yeah, so that's uh, done as well. So yeah, that's this is the updated 
print script. Definitely a lot smoother than the other one I made. So yeah, hopefully this um benefits your game in any kind of way. And yeah, have a good day.